to smiling to bicycle riding. Every movement we make is controlled by the brain. Today I'm going to bypass Matt's free will and control his muscles with my brain. The brain has multiple functions, one of which is movement. Today I'm going to move my left arm. But remember, to move your left arm, you need to use your right side of your brain. There's a special part of our brain that allows for us to move. That's called the motor cortex and you can see it right here. Every muscle of our body is mapped to a specific part of this motor cortex. For example, you can see that the leg is mapped here, the arm mapped here and the face mapped here. Today I'm going to be moving my left arm, so I need to stimulate this part of my motor cortex. That will send a signal down my spinal cord and into my arm to allow it to move. So to record the information going to Mike's arm, we can use these electrodes and stick it onto the skin, which will pick up the activity going through his muscles. Now I'm going to hook up these electrodes to measure how strong Michael's brain is. Now that we have Michael's brain hooked to this computer, we want to see how many muscles are recruited to move these objects. First, we have this light pen, which he contracts his muscles only a small amount, indicated by the green lights. When he picks something up slightly heavier, more muscles are required, which is indicative with the orange lights. Finally, when he needs to use all his muscles to pick up this desk, you can see it goes completely to the red lights. But what if we had a superpower to control someone else's brain? Super Lee sure does have a nice ring to it. So the signal that I'm sending from my brain to my muscles is now going from the machine to Matt's muscles. So my brain is controlling Matt's muscles. Now it's time for the real mind control. Now I'm going to show you the real power of the human mind. I'm going to contract all the muscles in Matt's arms. Watch. Now that's the power of the human mind.